Hello everyone and welcome back to Juno New Origins where I continue my career playthrough but we don't really have a contract for what I want to do in this video which as I said in the previous video is land on Solero. Now in the comments Vaishnav suggested making a uh, probe that had many individual landers attached to it. I objected to the term big probe because I had no intention of making a big probe but we will have a small probe with a lot of tiny landers attached to it and we'll see how that goes, but I don't think it'll go particularly well, uh, the first time at least. Uh, I have tried very, very, very hard to keep it within the limits of the small launch pad, but that's probably not a good idea. Uh, but as you can see, our height is uh, under 10 meters, our width is under 3 meters, and uh, I've tried to get as much out of this as possible by using this form factor. <laughs> Uh, the squarish form factor, sort of a DCX style, uh, for those familiar with that rocket. Uh, and uh, that was partly inspired by the fact that the probe core, uh, the default probe core, this one, sort of has that profile already. It uh, sort of is squarish. Uh, but yeah, also it was inspired by the fact that our little probes, we were going to have four of them. And I've attached them to the top like this. I have no idea whether it is going to work. Uh, we can't stage them off by you know the normal way and that is because we don't have enough stages available to us we're limited to five stages right now i'm only using four but uh, you get the picture we can't make each of these a separate stage so i'm hoping that i can just right click on them and stage them like that otherwise we'll have them all flinging off at the same time and then i don't think it'll be very easy to make sure that they land in different spots. You know, it's best that they stay attached to the bus until they are aligned with their preferred landing location. One thing that uh, made it hard to make these really small is the fact that we can't make the RCS thrusters any smaller. And so that's going to be difficult because they're going to be basically wasting a whole lot of RCS thrust every time we use RCS to turn and I'm still dedicated to the proposition of not using any gyros uh, so again, I know about gyros, I'm just not using them, and so we don't have gyros on these. Gyros would help, of course, uh, but then maybe I'll reconsider that. I mean, of course, it'd make doing this on the small launch pad sort of trivial. Um, it'll be too easy for me to do it on the small launch pad, maybe, but it depends on whether the decoupling works properly. We have very limited battery. And we don't have solar panels on the landers right now because I don't expect them to last very long. And that will give them some delta V to work with. They each, in theory, have about 600 meters per second. Uh, so that's enough to deorbit around Solero and hopefully manage their landing properly because, of course, we can't uh, rely just on the atmosphere to slow us down. We need to land somehow with thrust. I tried putting parachutes, but the parachutes are too big. So the parachutes are not an option. So yes, we have four individual landers here, four shots at this if you will, though it could all go wrong. Uh, the Delta V, the first stage gives us 3.53 kilometers per second. We are, we are using staged uh, combustion methylox engines as small as possible and six of them. Small as possible because we need to manage the height, right? And well, we're getting 304 seconds ISP in vacuum, which is, you know, wonderful. <laughs> Uh, anyway, uh, stage 2 is 2.78, so altogether 6.31 kilometers per second in vacuum is not really what I want. It seems a little bit tight as far as getting to Solero even. So we'll try it out, it doesn't cost that much, we've got 2.5 billion, that's a 5 million dollar rocket. But I might decide to go ahead and try a larger launch pad but at least this will let us test the decoupling of the landers and that'll be worthwhile so uh, we'll certainly have enough to get to orbit it's just a matter of whether we can transfer or not okay so village launch pad we're really pushing those boundaries here Carolox might have been slightly better as far as the density thing oh by the way I called the rocket Rudolph um, this is one reason I decided not to remove the red glow, because, um, it's sort of like Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, and that's why I also painted the body brown. It's sort of like cryogenic insulation, but not quite. Uh, let's, uh, actually 
Let's find more to... Oh, well, we're, we need to be at a Solero window, right? How are we doing on that? Yeah, we, we did time warp to the Solero window, so okay. Maybe we should launch two missions to Solero. We'll see how this transfer works, and then maybe we'll launch a second one with uh, that is more decisive. Okay, the Rudolph rocket. Alright, throttle up. Stability on. RCS definitely off, otherwise we'll have, we have a lot of RCS on here right now. Okay, and launch. So. Uh, my staging might be wrong. Uh, no, no fuel. Off. Okay. Um, we don't. We're not. Okay, bring it back. <laughs> Something's gone wrong. Stage one engines, mage engines. Yeah. Uh, engines are metalox. Yeah. Tank is Methlox. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Looks good. Um. Mage engines. That's it. Mage engines on first stage. Second stage has Titan engines. Should have had. Um. Okay. Let's try it again. Village launch pad. It let us bring it out there. Maybe it's just really unhappy with it because it's pushing those boundaries or something. Okay, my troll is up. And launch. I don't want the RCS. Uh, it doesn't seem like any staging is happening with this. Active stage. Uh, we have a cursed rocket. <laughs> stage 1 has engines. Uh, let's just turn off the activate on start on the that. Guess the landing gear as well. I mean, we don't need that. Activating on start. Maybe that was the problem. I don't know. That's sad. We have made a nice Rudolph rocket and took time with it and everything. I don't know. I'm I'm just gonna add a fuel line just in case. Who knows? Let's see. It reads delta V. Okay, throttle is working. Now ball's there. RCS still starts on. Okay. Nope. Um. Hmm. Okay, uh and flight, recover craft. Does it require us to have a contract before flying? Maybe that's it. TT flyby TT orbit. Regal landing. How about a uh, Luna flyby, TT flyby, TT orbit? I mean, we sort of almost did that previously. Just get those and uh, the Comsat mission. Okay. All right. Well, now we have active contracts. Well, let me actually go. Maybe it's just too close to the pad limits or something, and it's so confused by that. I don't know. Okay. Nope. Oh, this is interesting. You have... Fuel. <laughs> you have explosive power. I'm tempted. Really tempted. Maybe it's just confused by the landers on top. Because the landers are upside down, right? Maybe it just really, really doesn't like that, too. I don't know what about this it really, really doesn't like. <laughs> it could be that it doesn't like those landers. Which is fair, you know. I mean, it's weird. It's weird for it to deal with that. Oh, I do not want that. Maybe we should just have one lander first. And sort of askew this complication for... We, we, we need to eliminate one thing. So, we're gonna make a Rudolph 2. And this will just have one lander. We could just have a mod propellant engine land on Solero. This has a fair amount of Delta V right now. 
but we haven't put landing legs or anything. Well, that's a nice wide base for the landing gear. Now it's got a good landing thrust to weight ratio, plenty of delta V. Well, it'll sort of land on the bottom of the nozzle. We'll, we'll tuck that in a little bit. All stages 10 kilometers per second. It's shorter now, too. Well, we've got to put the fairing on. Now it's just right. Okay, so now we'll find out whether it was the fact that we had the little landers upside down, or whether it's just the form factor of this. So we'll save craft as Rudolph too. I mean, is it really wanting a diameter of 3? And of course this is no longer diameter of 3, it's width is 3, but its diameter is much more than that. Um, that looks a little bit weird too. Okay, let's see. Okay. Throttle up. Lock heading. Mono 80%. Right, because that's the upper stage. Mm, and that's not active. Okay. Well, it's got. It's reading six mage engines down there now. Okay. Well, I guess it, maybe it was the backwards landers that didn't like that. Okay, well, let's do this first. First things first. We'll broach that subject afterwards. That was obviously not the right way to put those landers. They were on inner stages as well, each of them. Connected to individual fuel tanks, but might be asking for too much. Well, is once again quite a thing. Uh, definitely festive. It definitely has a Rudolph feel to it. Okay, and separation. And we've got these little... these are pressure fed. Oh, I don't know where it's going right now. Oh, 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 it seems to be imbalanced. Yeah, um, well, when I click on it like this, it's it starts up again. Huh. Okay, we are in orbit. Uh, we have 1.36 kilometers per second left in this stage. Maybe we should have less in the lander. We've got the solar panels on here and not the lander, so that's a little bit of a rub. Okay. We will make a transfer. Okay, well, 300 something is what we usually end up with there. And then a mid course adjustment to get it closer. How about around Solero? Is it showing anything? Yeah, it shows something around Solero. Sometimes it shows it around the Solero, sometimes it doesn't. I... Okay, but we'll do the first burn first and then figure the rest out. So, what we're looking at is, no, the other plan burn, 1.41. Well, we'll try and waste some RCS so that we have 1.41 for that. Just checking it's not using the upper tank. Okay. Uh, well, we have no more fuel in this stage. Drew hyperbolic by exceeding 5. We got 100 tech points for that. Let's get rid of that node and see what's actually going on. Um, let's get rid of this one for now, too. Oh, we're, we're past it already. Let's see. Approach info. As long as the approach info is going down. Uh, okay, I think we hit a minimum. All right, so make course adjustment. Okay, uh, well, after getting some uh, subtle tweaks to the make course correction, I got it close, but it's changing. It's changing. So stop, please. Stop changing. <laughs> got it to like 300 kilometers, but then uh, it doesn't like me getting things proper. So yeah. Okay, we should be recharging. I've got to take the stability off. And we'll just time warp to the mid-course maneuver. Uh, in 120 days and 32.3 meters per second. 
It says approach info 16.66 meters. I, I don't think it means that, but who knows. I mean, I wish, right? Luna, oh, those are so quick. Oh, gosh, I forgot. I wanted to do those before time warping. Oh, shoot. We'll just do this. Let's forget that. Forget those. Forget those. I don't know. There's no penalty for failing, right? Right? Let's just fail all those. I want to do Solero landing. Shoot. Okay, using RCS to try and do this. Hide the contracts that we failed. Very embarrassing. Well, I don't see any indication of any approach to Celero now. Let me just delete that plan burn. We're, we're not close to Celero, are we? Where are we? We were, we we're getting close. It says 22.16 meters in 30 days. Um, it's not showing me that at all. Whatever, let's just go over there. I'm very disappointed in everything. Oh, now we see a little approach to Solero there. It's, there's only two flags on Solero. No, there's four. There is four. Um, we have some inclination, but not enough to hit the pole. Uh, this one right here is probably the best bet. Let's say we use the lander to capture first and then aim. Let's see how much it takes to capture. Uh, we don't need that much sensitivity. And it doesn't take much. 83 for bear capture. I mean, we should have 682 in the lander. So we can do this. And then wait a little bit for the target. We don't have solar panels on the lander, though. Should have just done, uh, put them, but anyway, we proceed. No, I will use the RCS in this stage first, since we're going to dump it. Okay, RCS on that stage is done. Staging. Okay, full capture with the main tank here. Uh, that'll be fine. Alright. Let's get rid of that. That's our orbit. And... Might be a bit before that flag gets over here where we want to land at it. So... Um, let's make sure that uh, it's not doing anything. So that it's not wasting any power. We now have 1.28 kilometers per second left. It's reading the delta V properly. Okay. But yeah, I, I really would like to have the power on here too, since that's pretty critical. Uh, hopefully it'll be alright. We're just waiting for that flag to go all the way around to under our, under our orbit. Okay, I think on this next orbit we'll deorbit. Oh, it went past, it went past, uh Okay, we'll have to deorbit and do a mild inclination change. Okay. Some lead. I don't know how much lead we want. Wow, we passed the node by that much so quickly. Let's give it that much lead. Okay. Right. That's fine. That seems to be retrograde here. We want the surface velocity. 
1.04 kilometers per second left. Oh, we're we're we've got too much drag. Oh no. Yeah, it's still too much drag. Oh, it's nice that the RCS is so powerful right now. Boy, it feels thick, the atmosphere, at this moment. I mean, we're, we're not even low. Not even low right now. And it's bringing our orbit in like that. I did not expect it to be that thick, even after last time's tests. We don't have that much delta V. I'm just gonna land wherever. Yeah. My estimation was not good enough to try and hit that crater. There's the crater, over there. Okay. Slowing down. It's coming at me faster than that at sea level things. It's at sea level. Oh no! <laughs> I thought it was above ground level. We hurt the engine a bit. <laughs> we hurt the engine a bit. I, I misread that. I thought it was above ground level. It's above sea level. Celero highest climb, apparently. Can you find it and stand on top of it? Well, maybe. Okay, let's turn the RCS off. Okay, well, we landed. <laughs> it's like all my other landings. Disastrous. But, uh, yeah, we didn't really hit the spot. And obviously we didn't do the multi-probe version that I wanted to do. But at least we can do it with the small launch pad and demonstrate that. Let's go back and make it up to the people whose contracts we failed. Because, like, we failed a whole bunch of... Oh, well, now they're asking for a whole bunch of stuff, huh? Uh, it was an interesting combination of things last time. You know, with the TT and the Brigo and Luna. But it was sort of like what we'd done before. Here we've got a Celero flyby, a Herma flyby, and Celero orbit. Let's encourage them to give us more of these. So, we'll skip the Brigo landing for now. Celero orbit's good money anyway. Uh, so, yeah. I don't know if the system is going to like me putting multiple landers like that. I'll try something, but probably the answer is no. Uh, what we want to do right now is resume one of the flights in order to time warp. And I think I'll just resume Rudolph 2 and we'll time warp to the next Celero window. Oh, right! Don't pick them up! <laughs> Shoot. I keep doing that. I picked them up too quickly. Well, now we're at the window. Are we losing money on these? Not really. <laughs> okay, uh, we'll pick the Solero again. Luna landing, though. Luna flyby, Luna landing. We haven't really done a legit Luna landing, have we? Okay. Um, telescope mission. <laughs> now they're giving me intriguing things here. So what we're going to do is... We're going to do the Luna flyby and Solero flyby and Solero orbit and Solero landing together. We'll have a separate Luna lunar landing pod and a separate Solero one. Let's see if that's possible. I don't think we can fit it on the small launch pad anymore, though. I think uh, I'll have to take some time to build this out. So I think I'll save this for the next episode. And we'll try to have a combo Luna landing and Solero landing thing because we have the window right now, so we should probably launch it and we'll have to keep track of it. But I don't even know if it's going to allow me to launch something with two landers, so we'll see. Uh, it turns out that my initial plan was faulty and it didn't like that, but at least we landed on Solero, though again, not at one of the 
precise locations. One thing we can do here, though, is maybe we should take a look at the tech tree. We've got a lot of tech points. We've got 405 now. Hmm. Anything that could help us here? Max stage is 99. I mean, it'd be good if we had more stages. Ion engine. Sure, I don't know what kind of ion engines they actually have, but maybe that'll help something. Um, nuclear. Sure. There's no boil off. Aerospite. You never know. Okay, so we filled out this bit here. And so that might come into play. Maybe I'll be able to fit into the small pad after all. With all that stuff. I don't know. Gas generator type 2 might have been a good idea. But now we don't have enough tech points. So, okay, slant. Diagonal cut. I wish there was a way to more finely reshape the cone of the fairing, though. It's always a little bit off. But alright, so with that new technology, I'll see what I can do with our current plan. So with that, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I will see you next time.